Well, I knew I was going to have competition getting into the thrift store today, but I didn't know it was going to come from the animal kingdom. <laughs> okay, well, I'm inside, and uh, it's not too busy, so I'll try to do a little filming. Point out a few things that are attractive. Here's a very nice uh, cake stand. I don't know how old it is. It's pretty heavy. Oh, wow, is that heavy. Heavy crystal, <clears throat> 20 bucks. Um, I don't recognize it. Could be new. I don't think I'm interested in it. There's another piece that has been in someone's windowsill and is turning lavender from the sunlight. That's a very recognizable pattern. Uh, it's called uh, Teardrop. And let's see, manufactured by uh, Duncan Miller. Made a lot of this. That's a mid-century pattern, 40s, 50s, 60s. And uh, nice elegant glass. Teardrop by Duncan Miller. Now, what is this? Aha! $3.99. It's got three feet on it, so it's a glass trivet in the shape of an iron. I don't know who made that. I've never seen that before. $4.00. That sticker isn't going to stay on there. That's going to fall off. How about we help them out and put it on the inside where it'll stick. There we go. I like that. But I don't think I'll purchase it. Okay. Deviled eggs. We see that quite often. 
Okay, there's Anchor Hawking's bubble, mid-century. There's more Anchor Hawking. I see these quite often as well. $3. They probably sell for six or seven dollars. Not a big money maker. And very easy to find. Not rare at all. Some snack trays. Here's another piece of uh, that 1960s uh, glass. And I'm going to forget, you know, I'm not really interested in this. Uh, it's three dollars. I can't remember if this is, I want to say it's Indiana glass. And uh, again, it's that uh, 1960s era glass. The 60s and 70s, I guess, they put it out. Uh, don't quote me on any of that. I don't really research it because I see a lot of it. It doesn't have a great deal of value. But it's definitely not the old, old 1910, 1920 carnival glass. Now I saw this over here yesterday, or, the, or a couple of days ago. Great big, beautiful, elegant, rolled edge console bowl in amber. And of course I would freak out over it, and I am, but it's got, it's dirty and I know once I clean it I still wouldn't be happy because there's a lot, it's been stored upside down and there's a lot of wear and some heavy scratches right through here, and that's really gonna show up. You may not be able to see it. Let's try to, do you see right there? That's not dirt. You see that ring? Those are pretty bad scratches. Try to get you to where, ooh, where you can see it. Right through here. And on an elegant table in, in nice bright light, that's really gonna show up and detract from that piece of glass. So, sadly, because I really like those elegant rolled edge console bowls from the 1930s. I've decided not to purchase it because of that, uh, the amount of scratches that are on it. I'll find another one. And now over on this side, pretty painted creamer. It would be nice to find a matching sugar with that. Some mid-century china. Now these luster plates were actually here before we went on uh, <laughs> quarantine. And uh, they're two dollars each. It's German lusterware. I like the plates because they're not decorated with birds and flowers and trees and whatnot. But I don't want to pay two dollars each for them. So, I'll think about it if they go on half price. And then I see this set is new today. This is one of those anniversary sets. And here we have the golden anniversary, 50 years. Uh, we have a cream and sugar. Four teacups, four saucers, and it looks like six dessert plates. And then some little juice glasses or whatever you'd like to drink out of that. And of course the big teapot. If it's all in really good condition and it looks like it is and chip free, this would be something that would sit for a while. You'd have to have a special buyer that would specifically be looking for this. It would be a nice gift item, but it's certainly not something that you're going to use every day. Um, it makes a nice gift, but it's not that practical because it would wind up being given on the 50th wedding anniversary, used on the anniversary, and then probably put in a china closet and never used again. The days of old folks and their old china closets, the days of my grandparents. I imagine the price is probably on the teapot. It is. Okay, not bad. It's $18 for everything, and as I said, if there's no chips, okay. But, you know, You'd store it for a while. It would be expensive to ship because you've got to put a lot of packing around all of these. You'd probably want to ship it in two boxes. And at the end of the day, what could you get for it? It's just one of those things. I'm going to make the decision 
uh, to leave it here. It's pretty. And I guess if I wanted to buy it as a gift for someone who was getting ready to have their 50th wedding anniversary, I would do it. This looks like some restaurant wear down here. Not a very pretty color. Yeah, it's Homer Lachlan's uh, Best China, and that is their restaurant wear line. I don't care for that brown. I like this black, but that's not Homer Lachlan, is it? No. Okay. So yeah, this is, for me, it's something that I'm just not interested in. So we'll leave it right there. And keep shopping. A lot of dishes. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's been a while since we played the game Date That Homer Lachlan. Now, I taught you how to do this last summer. Did you forget? That's really neat. I love it. It's Virginia Rose is the pat is the blank. That's the shape of the dish, but that's not the pattern. It's probably something tulips. I like how Art Deco it is. Anyway, how old is it? Everybody put your guesses in. 1935, 1945, or 1955? What do you think? Let's turn it over. What's the code say? Now remember, Virginia Rose is the blank. Homer Lachlan, Virginia Rose, F43, F, um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, June. 43 is the year. That bowl rolled off the assembly line in June of 1943. The N and the B has to do with the factory where it was made. And I don't know what are the N and the 8, I guess I can't really see it. But I do see F43, so June of 1943 is when this particular piece uh, was sold. Don't know the name of the pattern, but I like it. And sadly, they only have one piece. Okay, whoever murdered this late Victorian parlor furniture should be... Hmm. Let's quote Ebenezer Scrooge. Boiled in their own pudding? I'm gonna be sick. And there's more back there. Lines, heads, paw feet, probably mahogany under there, possibly oak. Mm, mm, mm. Well, there's no accounting for taste. Look at this Taylor Smith Taylor uh, soup terrine. It kind of looks like a big old football. <laughs> Taylor Smith Taylor. I don't know the pattern. It looks like it's in good shape. It's $8.50. That's okay. And then look right over here. You knew I would find this. I'm not sure who made it. It does remind me of Imperial Glass. And it is an iridescent bowl probably made around 19 between 1915 and 1920 looking at it very closely it's not stretch we don't see the stretch marks here so it's not a piece of stretch glass and that doesn't mean that the glass is stretched that means that they spray a uh, mineral salt on it and refire it and you get crinkly a crinkly effect. You've seen me show, uh, show stretch glass several times. It does have a pretty iridescence. It's 350. Not a lot of value to it and I'm not terribly attracted to it. I wish that the base were blue or green or just some other uh, color.
1881 he's looking pretty good isn't he I like the second Empire house with the mansard roof too that's probably about 1881 as well well I'm now in an antique store and I'd like to do some filming and some talking but do you hear that noise that is rain on the roof and we're in a beautiful old building look at that beautiful roof our ceiling is what I should say but it's pouring rain outside and you probably can't hear me wait till the rain stops and then I'll give you a little commentary on what I'm looking at I'm finding some really nice things Look at these Japanese lusterware salt and pepper shakers. Now, the women on the right are okay, but look at these in the middle. They're, they look like, I don't know, are they supposed to be carrots? <laughs> they are so whimsical and so typical of the strange designs. They just would do anything to a salt and pepper shaker. Those are really cute. They're $18. I wish I could find them. Those are so cute. Well, if you remember a while ago, I sold a Maxfield Parish print and I talked about how condition was so important on these. This one is called Air Castles, or Air Castle, Air Castles, and it was one of, one of his most popular. But unfortunately, look at the water damage here and the staining on this edge. That kills the value of a print like this. Uh, they're asking $75. That's going to be a real tough sell because of the fading and of the water damage on the side of that print. Uh, hard to find these in good condition, so sad to see it faded. But that's what makes the survivors all the more valuable. Today, whenever we travel, we buy t-shirts and baseball caps. But our great-grandparents bought ruby-flashed glassware, pressed glassware like this. Someone went to Atlantic City, New Jersey in 1904. And as a gift to mother, they brought her back a set of salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Isn't that quaint? from the boardwalk in Atlantic City, 1904. Uh, priced at
beneath the big red umbrella on the beach with you. That's where I'll undo a basket lunch for two. And through a straw, I'm going to drink sarsaparilla on the beach with you. We'll sit on the sand, start holding hands far from the crowd. Neath skies up above, I'll say I love you right out loud. We will dream and plan and get a sun-kissed hand. Beside the ocean blue, I'll be right in heaven on the beach with you. There are many interesting things to look at in this booth, so I'll let you have a look. I thought I'd give you a view of the beautiful ceiling again. And you know, I don't want to be critical, uh, but I guess this person doesn't really want us to shop in their booth. Uh, okay, that's kind of a hazard. So I guess we'll just stand here and wonder what we could have found. Oh well. 